pull on that one. Hey man, I'm gonna go take a piss. I'll be right back. I'm telling you, ma'am, I sent the check in three weeks ago. Well, you may have sent it, but we haven't received it. Okay, give me a couple of days, and I will send you another check. That's fine, but... If we don't have your payment by noon tomorrow, we'll have to shut off your power. What? I'm the damn sheriff in this town. Look, there is no reason to raise your voice. I've got three homicides on my hands. That's fine, sheriff. You have a nice day. Hello, DWP. How can I help you? Why don't you guys go ahead and put the body in the wagon? Okay, no problem. I know. You don't look much like a happy camper. So tell me what you got, Ben. I eat them yet? Judging from the decals on the vehicle, I'd say uh, students from Plains College. Uh huh. A lot of blood. Yeah. How old are these kids? Not more than 20. Huh? This blood isn't more than four or five hours old. So whatever happened here happened around dawn. Yeah. Definitely wasn't a traffic accident, was it? Uh-uh. Hold it up. The closest thing I ever saw to this was a hiker attacked by a grizzly. I'm a shark. We've got neither of them around here. Well, hi, Barbara. We figured you'd be showing up. Your daughter thought it was important enough to call me in. I guess you forgot, huh? 
Mm -hmm. You two know each other? Barbara Phillips. You want to show me the bodies? Glad to. Jesus, this is bad. We pretty much ruled out a grizzly bear. No bear did this. What about a cougar? I don't know. January 22nd, just off Route 91 at the Basin Wash. We have a footprint. From the looks of it, I'd say it's an animal somewhere between 150 to 200 pounds. There's part of another one over here. But it looks to me, whatever it was, attacked from a two-footed, not a four-footed stance. But you can't tell what it was. It wasn't a cougar. What the hell was that? Could've been the wind, maybe. High desert gets pretty quirky sometimes, even in broad daylight. If that was the wind. Well, we'll know more after Dr. Johnson does the autopsy on these poor kids. Let's go. I'm waiting. I am waiting for an explanation. Sir, it was all quiet when I did my 1530 security check. 20 minutes to discover the breakout. Who is watching the monitor? Lyle was supposed to be doing that while I was on patrol. Lyle. Sir, you told me to make the neurotransmitter a top priority, so I was very busy with that. Lyle, it's a very simple question. Were you or were you not watching the monitors? No, sir. Karen, you know that premature hatching is always a distinct possibility. Therefore, is it too much to ask that you might oversee the monitoring of these eggs? After all, it is your job. Yes, sir. I'm counting on you. I'm counting on all of you. Sir, I can't be in three places at one time. Well, you better be, goddammit. The buck stops here. And here. And here. The breach has been repaired, sir. This will never happen again. Marvelous. In the meantime, we have a hatchling on the loose. You better figure out what you're going to do, McCoy. Dr. Hyde, its life expectancy could be as little as three to five days without the laser treatment. Let's hope so. I don't want a police investigation. What about the rest of the embryo chicks, sir? They're out of here tonight. Karen, would you please handle this? We'll ship them out to the Utah facility, use some local farming truck company so we don't attract any attention. Ah, brilliant. McCoy, hatchlings on the loose. Lyle, do something! giving us a hand with this load. Driver, not a loader. All right now, ladies. Buckle up. We got a long road ahead. Well, McCoy signed off on it, and the security guard's telling everyone it's okay. Uh, send Swanson to the infirmary. And tell him to keep his goddamn mouth shut. And that goes for you and the others, too. Or I'll personally guarantee you'll be back fucking chickens in Arkansas. <laughs> hey, Merle, how are you? Hey, Tony. Sorry to say, no one in or out. Oh, I gotta get these cluckers over to Fort Rogers, and I'm three hours late. All right, we'll say you left already.
How'd you all get loose? Sheriff, it's Bolton. I'm on Route 49, about three miles south of the overpass. I got an abandoned vehicle. Looks pretty bad. Bad? Bad like in an accident? That's a poultry truck. There's dead chickens and blood everywhere. Headlights are on, doors open. Let the driver get out in a hurry and got whacked. I'll be right there. We're gonna trace on the plates. Copy that. I'll be back. Oh, shit. What? Look at this, Jim. Carl Joseph broke out of prison. Christ, that's all we need. He's headed this way. Then don't worry about it. It's not going to happen again. What's not going to happen again? And who's this Carl Joseph guy? Clark? Bad dude. Jim and Ben put him away a couple years back, but it wasn't easy. He's threatened to come back and burn the town down. Ain't going to happen. I'll shoot the son of a bitch first. Get him up. Honey, work until 11. Then let Clark take over. We'll see it. Yes, Daddy. Uh, do not stop off with that Tommy guy. He's too old for you, I mean it, all right? That's exactly what I told Barbara this morning about you. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Clark, it's Mike. I need you to run a commercial plate for me. 2918J5, right. Shit. All right, shit. I'm gonna have to call you back. It's just some stupid animal. Well, I don't like stupid animals. Let's get dressed and get out of here. Okay, don't be scared. Let's go. Are you ready? Yeah, hold on. Oh, shit, my wallet. Uh, I don't want to go home. I think I dropped it in the back. I'll just be a second. Please hurry. I'll be quick, baby. Jim, what's up? I've got another suspected animal attack route. 49, three miles south of the overpass. I'll be right there. No, I already did that. There's no sign of it. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, I'll go back to you. What happened? One of your men get attacked? Well, I'm missing a deputy after he called me about that mess over there. Here, go check it out. Tell me what you think. <clears throat> Clark, what did Mike say to you when he told you he'd call you back? Besides, aw, oh, shit. Okay, well, put out an APB on him and send me a tow truck. Uh, I'm gonna impound both these vehicles as evidence. Uh-huh. Well, what do you think? Don't stamp over the ground while I'm looking for tracks. Sorry. <clears throat> well, the way I figure it, the driver pulled over here to take a nap, and the cougar, or whatever it was, Comes out here because of the chickens, and chickens make a lot of rackets. So the driver gets out, see what's up. No tracks here. Well, there goes that theory. I wonder if the poultry company knew what they were shipping. Manifest they're moving laying hands from the Unis Corporation to some ranch in Utah. The Unis Corporation? Doesn't sound much like a poultry farm to me. Maybe not. Something to check out tomorrow. Baca 30 calling Baca 1, come in over. Here's the Baca 1, go, Ben, over. Sheriff, your daughter's been hurt. Not sure how. How bad? Not sure. I'm at the hospital now. On my way. I'll follow you in my van. Sorry, Sheriff. She can't hear you. What happened? What happened? Jim, we don't know. A trucker found her by the side of the road out by Lakeshore Drive. He brought in less than a half an hour ago. I questioned him. He's clean. Just a good Samaritan. And nothing from her? Not a single word, even though her motor skills are perfectly intact. Baby. Baby. Come on, look at Daddy. Sheriff. Meet your daddy when you don't. Come on, look at me. Sheriff, I'm afraid your daughter is suffering from a rare form of traumatic catalepsy. And that would be what, Doctor? Well, something so terrified your girl that she shut off part of her mind to avoid thinking about it. That's not like her. Baby, look at daddy. Honey, I know something terrible happened to you out there. Honey. And now what, Doctor? Well, cases like this are rather uncommon and a bit out of my league. But I can say that the mind is very resilient. In some instances, patients fully recover in less than 24 hours. And other instances? Well, some people may need an outside stimulus, some sort of a sound or a picture or smell to reawaken them. Thank you. Jeff? Yeah? <sighs> this gets worse. I dispatched a car where they found Lola. Uh-huh. They found Leonetta's truck smashed and burning down at the bottom of Colapso Bridge at a severed hand near the shoreline. Any witnesses? No. Baby? Honey, Daddy's got to go. I love you. I love you. I love you. Doctor, do whatever you can, all right? We'll take good care of her. Sheriff, I want you to get some rest. All of you. Call you first thing in the morning with an update. Doctor says she's fine, but no change, whatever that means. Are you still want to go out to Eunice with me and check it out? I'm game. What? The last time I heard you say that to me, I believe I spent a weekend of my life. Let's go.
Lyle, are you in or are you out? You're, you're, you're worse than a cat. If I could have a word, sir. Yes, what is it? In private. If you'll excuse us, I'll, I'll talk to you later. What is it now, Lyle? I feel terrible about what happened. And you're telling me this because? I really think I ought to leave. It wasn't your fault, Lyle. We only lost one. But those kids, the radio said. There you go again, Lyle. You, 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 you work yourself up here, jumping to conclusions. Even I don't know what happened for sure. Perhaps it was our precious little T-Rex, perhaps. Or maybe, maybe it was just a wild animal. We could be guilty of criminal negligence. Don't be absurd. Accidents happen. Yes, of course, there was the unfortunate incident. The Army had to shut us down. They had to, Lyle. It was government funding. They have to distance themselves. There were never any criminal charges, were there? No, but I... Lyle, we are so close. A dinosaur with a brain. A creature of superior strength, size, intelligence. We can train them to work with men. Land clearing, mining, shock troops. They could be pretty shocking, all right. I don't want to go to jail for second-degree murder. Oh, I'm sorry that you feel that way. I don't have to remind you that you did sign a confidentiality clause when you came to work for me, huh? I know that. Of course you do. Well then, thank you. Thank you for your time. I value it. Before you go, there's one last thing that I was going to ask you to do this afternoon. It has to do with the training session of the Alpha T-Rex. Isn't that Karen's department? Well, normally, yes, but it was something that you said last week and made me think. I, I, I'm curious how it will react to the unfamiliar, such as yourself. And normally, Karen is working with them. So perhaps on the way out, you could just walk down the laser corridor and I could monitor it. I'd really appreciate it. Approaching the laser corridor now. Just keep going, Lyle. You're doing fine. Now remember, you're going to experience some discomfort because the area is climate controlled for the subject. Hot and humid. You're doing just fine, Lyle. Keep going. Now remember, I've got the T-Rex immobilized by the lasers. He can't move, and you can. Sinister enough? Maybe we should have called first. It's more fun surprising them. Yeah, who is it? This is Sheriff Tanner from the Vacant County Sheriff's Department. I'd like to speak to the person in charge. You mind if I ask what it's about, Sheriff? Yeah, this is a routine, routine investigation. Yeah, okay, hold on, I'll check. He'll check. <laughs> Sir, we have a local sheriff at the gate. He wants to speak to the man in charge. Not here. Go on, Lyle. I'm still with you. Just keep going until I tell you to stop. You're completely protected by the laser barrier. Now reach out, touch it. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> see, just a little jolt. The barrier around the T-Rex is a hundred times stronger. <laughs>
don't know what to tell you, Sheriff. I looked all over for him. He's, uh, nowhere to be found. And you are? Oh, I'm Josh McCoy, head of security. Well, Mr. McCoy, we've had some unusual animal attacks, and I was wondering... What the hell was that? Oh, that's, uh... That's just a fuel pressure control release. Uh, Mr. McCoy, would you tell, uh... Doctor. Dr. Hyde. Dr. Hyde? Yep. Would you tell Dr. Hyde that we're back tomorrow? I'll do that. Well, thank you very much. No problem. Did you hear that? Yeah, we both did. Two days ago at the murder site. It was lower, it was further away, but it's definitely the same sound. I haven't got it on my tape recorder. Which gives me an idea. He's coming back tomorrow. He may be a little bit more difficult to get rid of. Hmm. The problem is we don't know what he's found. He could come back with a search warrant. So what do you want me to do? Check him out. I want to know who the sheriff is, and I'd like to know some information about the woman with him. Shouldn't be a problem. And if he does come back, bring him to me. I'll take care of it. Why does this have to happen when we're so close? What's that? Lyle. He's quit. He quit? You just missed him. Well, he never said anything. He's gone to work for a firm in Silicon Valley. You know, Doctor, you should really get some rest. We have to finish this, Karen. You and I. Doctor, you said that sometimes a certain stimulus could bring a patient out of traumatic syndrome. I think I have that stimulus right here on my tape recorder. Let's try it. You ready? Let it rip. This might work. Looks like she's coming out of it. Here. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, oh God, Daddy, it was horrible. It was some kind of lizard or something, and it got Tommy. It got Tommy, and then it started to come after me, and it was clawing at my neck. I didn't know what to do. She may still be delusional. I seriously doubt that. <laughs> Look, I am not crazy. I know what I saw. That's the plan, baby. Honey. <laughs> Lie down and relax. I'm gonna go find him. And I'll check in with you in the morning, all right? Honey, you okay? Yeah. You okay? Calm down. Please don't go. Please don't leave me. Please take me with you, Daddy. Please. I wouldn't recommend it. We should listen to the doctor. He's got a degree. Barbara, I gotta tell you, I was really worried. If you hadn't come up with that tape recorder idea, who knows when she would have come out of it. Forget it. What worries me more is what she said about that lizard thing she saw. I mean, if she's not mistaken, and I seriously doubt that she is, we're facing some truly new and frightening menace here. This is so weird. You know, for some reason, you're much nicer when you're not trying to act like Mr. Cole. I am? Yeah, you are. <laughs> it's nice to know. Well, what do you think? Have I still
still got it. Not bad for an old guy. An old guy? I get a little gray at the temples and I'm suddenly an antique. Some antiques are highly sought after. Prize possessions. Worth seeking out. Worth bringing in for a nightcap. Barbara. I would love to. But there's something I gotta do. You're going back to Eunice, aren't you? Can't even wait till tomorrow. Some things can't wait. This is one of them. Well, then, don't you think you ought to bring me? No. Nope. Gotta go solo. I got a feeling something is way wrong out there, and it could get really hairy, so... Mm. Thanks for the memories. You're never gonna change, Jim Tanner. You know, you've got really soft lips. Bye. Jim? Jim, if you're there, pick up. I can't hear you. He's on the code five. What the hell is he staking out? He didn't say, but I couldn't get a hold of him. Oh, great, great. Jim, listen, I think Carl Joseph's back. I got three emergency calls from downtown. Reporting vandalism, break-ins, and looting. The clerk at Hal's Liquor says somebody's smashing store windows right now down the street. I'm gonna go check it out. You're not going down there alone, are you? You know what the sheriff says about backup. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. This time I'll be ready for the motherfucker. This is Hanson calling for Valka 1. Hanson for Valka 1. Come in. No, you're here. Come on out. I'm wait for you. Right here. Come on. Got nothing to lose.
down together. Come on. Jim, I'm really sorry. When did it happen? Last night. Whatever got him ripped his insides out. Deep punctures. A lot of blood. Listen, identifying animal attacks is my department. You don't have to. It's better if I ID him than his wife. Hi, can I help you? Glover. Right this way. Sheriff, you still got a missing deputy, right? Mike Balton, yeah. Um, I just got this coroner's report on a dead body found on a ranch just over the county line. Body's been, uh, partially eaten. I found this embedded in Ben's thorax. What is that, some kind of claw? It's not a claw, it's a tooth. Wow. We're gonna need bigger guns. Yeah. Yeah, uh, sorry to keep you waiting, Sheriff Tanner, but we have, uh... No files on anything called Eunice. Well, thanks anyway. You know, there may be certain factors here that require more extensive cross-referencing. What kind of factors? Linkages that aren't immediately apparent. What about Carl Joseph? Might he have something to do with this? Uh, he, he was uh, arrested in Boise by police yesterday afternoon. Well, that's good news. Listen, Sheriff, I'd like you to keep me informed. Uh, if you turn anything up, call me, day or night. No problem. Yeah, give me uh, extension 7B. You didn't tell him about the sound we heard. Right, because we're going back with the search warrant this time. I'm pretty sure the Eunice Corporation is a front for more than fresh eggs. Clark! Call the FBI. The number's on the desk. Agent Wiley? Whatever you say, Sheriff. Excuse me, one second. Uh -huh. Hey, this is my case, too. I'm coming with you. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Tell Clark to get me a search warrant. And 
you get it to me while I make this last call? <clears throat> Sheriff needs a search warrant right now. Miss Henderson, Sheriff Tanner. Look, Sheriff, I already told you that I can't... No, it's not about my bill again. This is official business. What is it? I need you to shut off the power to the Eunice Corporation in one hour's time, unless you hear from me otherwise. Well, I need a good reason to, Sheriff. Well, I'm investigating them in connection with six deaths. I'm on the way over there now with a search warrant. And if I don't get out of there in a hurry, I may be the seventh victim. Well, I guess that's okay, but I'd like something in writing. Okay, I'll fax it right away. Then will you do it? If I don't hear from you before then, I'll shut off the power at 3 p.m., right? Right. Thank you, Miss Henderson. I appreciate your position, Agent Wiley, but I can assure you we sold it off to the private sector 12 years ago. And you've had no further involvement? No, we do not have any ongoing commitment or relationship whatsoever with the back of Flats facility. Sure. Yes, thank you. Yes, sir. Get me Dr. Hyde at the Eunice Corporation right now. All right, sir. Control room. May I speak to Dr. Hyde? Can I tell him who's calling? Colonel Von Vandemar. Colonel Vandemar. Ah. Hey, congratulations on your promotion. Doctor, let me come straight to the point. We terminated your research with us 12 years ago, did we not? Unfortunately, yes. It's come to our attention that there have been unexplained fatalities in the vicinity of your research facility. Very much like the incidents that caused us to terminate the Jurassic Storm project. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Have you privately reactivated the project? Of course not, Major. Uh, Colonel Vandemar. Even if I wanted to, how could I possibly find that kind of funding in the private sector? Without backing at the highest government and military levels, it would be unthinkable. No one would touch it, would they? May I ask what you are doing? Applications on the Human Genome Project. Very well, Doctor. I'm sorry to have disturbed you. Thank you for your time. Any time, Colonel. Yep. Yeah, Sheriff. Sure. Tanner to see Dr. Hyde? Uh, yeah, just a minute. Doctor, the Sheriff met animal control when her back. I'll be right there. Karen, I'd like you to recheck the work Belial was doing on the neurotransmitters. His work was rather sloppy in the last several weeks, huh? Uh, do you want me to go with you? No, 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 I'll handle it. Please just recheck the settings. Yes, sir. Buzzing you in, Sheriff. Phillips, I'm sorry, I wasn't advised as to what time you'd be here today. I was actually on my way to a meeting, and uh, I'd be happy to stop by your office later if that works for you. There's no time for that, Dr. Hyde. I have a search warrant. Ah, well, that won't be necessary. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. First, could I offer you some coffee, perhaps some tea? No, thanks. No, for me, thanks. Ah, yes, single-mindedness in the pursuit of the truth. As a scientist, I have to admire that. Sheriff. I'm investigating six deaths, which were the result of attacks by an unknown wild animal or animals. They all occurred within five miles of this place. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about that. I, I can't see how I would be of any help. Actually, I'm not much of a wildlife enthusiast. Are you doing any research into animal testing? A bit. Well, I did some checking before we came up here, and according to the internet, Dr. Hyde, you may be the world's top animal behaviorist. Oh, Sheriff, you have done your homework, haven't you? I am very impressed. So what kind of animals are you working on now? Actually, I'm working on the Human Genome Project, and occasionally we have to compare the human and animal gene sequences. Did you know that we share 99% of our genes with the domestic cat? The animal we heard yesterday was a lot bigger than a cat, and so were the prints and the tooth that I found. 
Could it be, Miss Phillips, that your imagination is as strong as your power of observation and logic? Dr. Hyde. As I said, that won't be necessary. I'm happy to show you the labs, please. I have nothing to hide. Show us the labs. Follow me. We'll start with the sequencing lab, please, after you. Sure. All aboard. How many floors down does this thing go? Six. It used to be a nuclear testing facility. What is that? I believe it's Stranger in Paradise. As you can see, it takes a lot of power to manipulate the sequencing. Seems like all this gene splicing would be really, really... What, expensive? Yeah, expensive. What is the price of a dream, Sheriff? If my experiments work out, I can assure you all mankind will be knocking at my door. But the question is whether to get in or get out. You may scoff all you want, Miss Phillips, but when my work is complete, the entire story of DNA research will have to be rewritten from scratch. Really? Well, then I guess I'd like to start with a chapter where you somehow managed to clone a dinosaur that escapes and murders a half a dozen innocent people. Your lady friend isn't a very good poker player, Sheriff. She's just revealed her hand. Actually, I prefer dominance. See, like the Sheriff here, I did a little surfing myself. Read all up on your research history. Cloning from fossil DNA, failed government project, Loss of funding? Yes. That is enough. Hold it. No, you hold it, Sheriff. Guns, guns, guns. At this point, I'll have to refer to an old Western cliche. Put him up, partner. And our tour is over. Please follow me. Inside you go. Go on. Au revoir. On y va. I didn't like the sound of that. Oh, you don't, huh? Well, if you kept your trap shut, it wouldn't be stuck in here. Like Hyde didn't have some ulterior plan to keep us detained, did he? Damn it! I should never have broken my rule about backup. Well, would you mind telling me how we're gonna get out of here? It's gonna be a while, Barbara. Yes, yeah. The call came in no more than five minutes ago. According to the deputy, Hanson, the sheriff of Vaca Flats went out to Eunice over an hour ago. He has not been heard from since. It also says that he had the place staked out most of last night. Yeah. Okay, Mark. I'll be getting back to you. Thank you. Well, General, it looks like Dr. Hyde has lied to us. I believe he has reactivated Jurassic Storm. How could he do that? Where the hell would he get the money? The FBI ran traces on his phone. There have been calls to Pakistan. But of course, we don't know for sure what that means. Son of a bitch is getting foreign funding. General, if it ever came out that we had anything to do with the original project... Shut him down. Get special ops in the air right away. Make sure it's a dark operation. Get me Delta Command right away. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 let's go, let's go! Delta 2-9, Delta 2-9, this is Alpha 14, ready for takeoff, over. Hold up. 
Alpha One forces up two nine. Crypt has just arrived. It's been time to push in four or five seconds. Stand by for my command. Let's go. Devinger, take her up. Yes, sir. command to take off. This is a joint operation, over. Uh, roger that, Delta 2-9, but takeoff is now 1435 Marine time. Gotcha, Connolly. Alpha 1-4, Delta 2-9. This is not a training mission. This is the real deal. Now, if you don't get the program, I would have your ass bust another rate. We're having a pissing contest again. Yeah, and we're always down when. Lance, catch up with Alpha 1-4. You catch him, I'll buy you a fucking Cadillac. Go. We secure the perimeter. We'll enter through the northeast wing and sweep sector by sector looking for civilians. We'll rendezvous back at the freight elevator at level one and meet Delta 2-9 there. Got it? Yes, sir. Got it. How did it go with our visitors? Excellent. Told that idiot three o'clock. Which one? There's tons of them around here. Yeah, I know. Once we link up with York, we're gonna work our way down through the building level by level until we locate these targets. And our orders are to search and destroy. What exactly are we looking for, sir? That's classified, soldier. But you'll know him when you see him. Anybody have any questions at all? What are the targets, sir? It's an easy little basis, Lewis. When you need to know, you will know. Animal, vegetable, mineral. What are those things you had in your ass? Listen, all I can tell you people is it's organic and it's been genetically engineered and it is dangerous as hell. So keep your eyes open. Lance, what's our ETA? Five minutes, sir. Roger that. We have visual. Turning out approach, sir. Circling the land at Northwest Field, over. Roger that, Alpha 1-4. Delta 2 ETA. 4-0 seconds, Southeast Sector. See you on the ground. Lance, sir, get us down to the Southeast Sector as soon as possible. ASAP, you got it? All right, double check your gear, folks. Make sure your weapons, pressure checks. Control. We are escorting you out of here for your own safety. Brady, take him to evac and hold him there till you turn them over and then report back to me. Let's go, move it. Let's go. Let's go! Damn, that Vandemar. What do you want me to do, sir? Nothing, not yet. The lasers will keep him out of the basement. 
Yeah, but what if they get past the lasers? Karen, nothing is more important than our project. Well, then I'm gonna do something. Alpha One Forces Delta Two Nine. We're good to go. Over. Delta Two Nine. Perimeter is secured. We are moving in. Over. Roger that, Alpha One Four. Lewis, take the six. Entire power grid shut down now. Whatever you say. Jim, we gotta get out of here now. Tell me something I don't know. No, you don't understand. Hyde can't let us stay here. He's gonna turn him loose. And that's gonna make us dinner, right? TJ, just do it now. Okay. Mm go. Thank God for Henderson. Come on, come on. Stay with me, baby. Come on. Karen, what's going on? We've lost power all over the system. Oh, my God. The laser starts protectors not on. They can get out of their training pen. Check the tracking program. The laptop, some batteries. Check it, check it, recheck it! Sir, when they called the Dark Ops, they weren't kidding. Alpha 1-4, this is Delta 2 9 We lost power. What's your position, over? Delta 2 9 We are on level 3, and we are dark 2. Roger that, 1-4. There's a backup generator on level 4. Check it out. Over. Well, if there is, we'll get the power back up. But if this is sabotage, we got another problem. Yeah, all the more reason to keep going, 1-4. Now, check it out. All right. Reese. Get your ass down to level four and get us juiced up. Yes, sir. Elevator. There's a connecting corridor up ahead. All right. Benny, let's shoot this corridor all the way down to the elevator. Hold the elevator once the power's back up. You got it? Got it. All right. We're going to clear the rest of this level, then we'll go down to the basement level. That's where the target's probably housed. All right. Get moving. Yes, sir. Let's go. Doctor, we gotta warn those no. men. No, Karen, no. They're trespassers. They have no right to be here in the first place. They are human beings, for God's sake! Let it be! What the fuck is that? Down, Louis. 
shoot these motherfuckers. what I think those are. Yeah, the fucking dinosaurs, all right. We have to find and kill every one of them. You got a problem with that, Sladek? No, sir. I didn't think so. Let's go. Keep your fucking eyes open. Okay. Wait here. Bullshit, you're gonna leave me here? You're gonna be safer here in the stairwell. I'll be right back, okay? Stay here. Why am I safer here? Captain, got it. What took you so long? Get your ass back here now. Roger that, sir. Asshole. That's Captain Asshole to you, son. Remember, I'm still your daddy. Yes, sir. Which? Up, 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 up. You think jabbing like that is gonna help? It's not gonna hurt. And I have lost the man, and I am not happy about it. Have you found Hyde? Negative. Personally, I hope his ass got munched on by one of his little creations. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to simplify our mission. We're going to blow this facility in all its contents. And get the hell out of here ASAP. We have enough C4 to blow this place to Kingdom Come. And that's just what the fuck we're going to do. Copy? That's an affirmative. All right, get on it. All right, Reese. Sir. Stay with me. Yes, sir. Johnson, Sanders, get down to the next level and plant some charges. Then get ready to get the hell out of here. Slate it. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Take your satchel charge. Down to the area down there where I showed you where that support beam is. I want you to set it up down there, okay? And do me a favor, don't blow yourself up, okay? Go, go. Why not? Slate it's always first, right? Yeah, go ahead. Where's the blueprints? Lewis, come over, goddammit. Stop fucking off. Let's see. Okay. How many charges you got left? Six. All right, great. Well, I guess you won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> back on we could have saved some of them your creatures or the men what is wrong with you karen you murdered those men and lyle he didn't quit did he lyle forgot why he was here we're scientists karen we have to think about the bigger picture the greater good i know the ends justify the means but i wanted to help people not this you can help me karen i need you no no not anymore. Karen. Karen, we can continue. The Utah facility. Fine. Do it myself.
Crow, this is Delta 29, over. Crow, this is Delta 29, where the hell are you, over? This is Crow. Go ahead, Delta 29, over. We have scared employees moving at a rapid pace to the front of the building. I need you to get your chopper in the air. ASAP, round the with Shaw, can you meet in the front? You are too. By any means necessary, keep these employees from leaving the premises, over. Roger that. Over. What the hell's happening up there? Vandermar. We need another evac chopper here right away, sir. Mission status, Alpha 1-4. 20 minutes and we're out of here. Very well. Evac chopper's on its way. Roger that. 20 minutes, General. Excellent. Lewis. Hurry it up. Shots to me. It's bigot. Why don't you use your fucking brain? You're an asshole, Conley. Yeah, I know. Eat this, you motherfucker! Come on, you two! Get those noises. Me, sir? No, Lewis, your fucking mother. Now get there before I stick my foot in your ass. Shit. Oh, 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 we surrender. Who the hell are you? Sheriff Tanner. This is Barbara Phillips, animal control officer. Animal control officer? Great job you're doing. Thanks. We'll get you out of here, Sheriff, you and your lady friend. I'd like to get you out now, but I can't afford the extra manpower. Thanks. Sounds good to me. Me too. Well, that's good, because it's the only fucking option you got right now. Where's your explosives? Keep a watch over here. Come on.
palaces. Breakfast? I don't think so.
this, Barney. Get out of here, it's gonna blow. 